Have you ever heard a fascinating story of a king from Ikshvaku dynasty, came to be known as Dhandhumara from Drona Parva of Mahabharat? After Ikshvaku's death, Sasada ruled Ayodhya followed by Kakutsta and then Yuvanashwa, whose grandson was Vrihadashwa. Vrihadashwa's son, Kuvalashwa, succeeded him and was more powerful than his father. Vrihadashwa planned to retire to the woods for asceticism, but sage Uthanka dissuaded him, revealing the threat of the demon Dundhu, son of demons Madhu and Kaitava. Dundhu, having received a boon from Brahma, was invincible to various celestial beings and wreaked havoc on the world once a year. Uthanka urged Vrihadashwa to slay Dundhu. Vrihadashwa, having renounced his throne, advised Uthanka to seek help from his son Kuvalashwa. Kuvalashwa, with Uthanka and his army, found Dundhu's dwelling. His 21,000 sons surrounded the demon, excavating sand for seven days and attacking fiercely. Kuvalashwa used the Brahmastra to vanquish Dundhu, earning the title Dundumara, praised by sages and celestials for this remarkable victory.